Guys, welcome to Kingfisher's Bait Clinic for today. I'm showing you how to do the double hook top bung. So basically, it's a Kingfisher double hook trace with a top bung. Now the baiting of it is so, so simple. All we do is take our lovely sardine, chop off the head, like so, chop off the tail, like so, take our hooks, now first hook near the top, running down the backbone, like so, and the second hook we place on the opposite side. So all we do with the second hook is go in, run it along the backbone, slide it down, like so. Slide that one down. There we go. Take our latex cotton. And I'm just gonna stick it on the side here. And we just wrap it up with our medium latex cotton. And very important to go behind the actual bend of the hook and in front of it as well. There we go. And there it is there. It's as easy as that to actually bait up, guys. Guys, the nice part about a drift sardine with a top bung is you can adjust the depth to what you want it to actually be at so you're almost in the zone immediately from the time you actually throw the sinker will pull the bait down to the depth that the shad are actually feeding at the nice part about the top bung is it floats above the rocks you don't get caught up it's not that easy to throw unfortunately that is the drawback to the top bung and you've got to keep an eye on it the whole time it's so lovely just seeing your top bung floating along the next minute, oops, it's gone. That's how easy the bite is. The minute you see your float disappear, you just tighten up and the shad is there. So again, we just run through it. Um, the float will just basically float along. You don't get stuck. Bonus. It's easy to bait up. Bonus. And guys, easy when the fish bites. You know when it's biting. There we go. That's what makes the top bung so successful here in KZN. Just going to run through another bait for shad with the top bung. Very simply, we just got our normal trace, our top bung double hook, our latex cotton, sharp knife. This bait works best when your sardines are semi frozen. This one, on the other hand, is totally defrosted, so it's going to be a lot more messier. Simple. Cut the head off. Throw that away, cut the tail off, throw that away, and slide it, your knife all the way down to the center bone. We then open it up, like so, down, like so. We then take our backbone of our sardine out. Like so. We then take our double hook trace, turn it upside down, our small hook near the tail part, like so, and our bigger hook right near the top. And all we do is we just wrap the sardine around. Take our latex cotton. And of course, we latex the whole thing together. Keeping our hooks very, very proud is very important.
a lot of cotton and there we go there is our double hook drift bait sorted okay guys there's our sardine inside out double hook drift sardine with our top bun the advantage of this is it gets the smell out into the water a lot quicker when the bite is very quiet and you don't know if there's shade around and you want to basically do your prospecting to try and find where these fish are that's the kind of bait you throw it takes a lot longer to actually make but it's a lot more smellier it gets those fish feeding it gets a little fish coming in and actually biting on it the little fish will attract the shad the smell of the sardine dissipating into the water attracts the shad a lot faster that is the advantage of doing a bait like this guys it just gets that smell out there a lot quicker a lot faster go out there and enjoy it